How much luggage can you take? Where can I put my cases? What are the size limits? Let's find out. So official JR rules about luggage on the Shinkansen say that you're allowed to bring two pieces of luggage. Each one should weigh 30 kilos or less and the total dimensions for each of them should be less than 250 centimeters. And if you're wondering about smaller things, don't worry because the rules also say items that remain on hand such as umbrellas, canes and purses are not counted towards the two item limit. Now there are two places you can put your luggage without much hassle. If your case has total dimensions of 160 centimeters or less, JR says that you should be okay putting it on the luggage rack. This overhead shelf is about 42 centimeters deep, so your case might stick out a bit. Personally, I don't like putting anything really heavy up there because I don't want to risk dropping it on another passenger, but that's just me. If you've got a smaller case with combined dimensions of 120 centimeters or less, JR recommends putting them by your feet. Obviously, this is a bit more feasible if you don't have long legs, but in reality, I'd say that carry-on size cases are fine, but anything bigger really becomes a pain, especially on longer journeys. If you're in the green car, you'll need to use the luggage rack anyway, because well, you're lucky and you have foot rests. Now, if you're someone who comes to Japan with the kitchen sink, your case probably has combined dimensions of 160 centimeters or more. And if that's you, then you have no choice but to use one of the oversized baggage areas. To do this, you need to book special seats to gain access. If you reserve seats in the first and last rows of each car, you can use the area directly behind or in front of the seats. These areas are probably the best for the very heaviest luggage because you can just wheel it in and it's good for other bulky things like bicycles or strollers. If you book these special seats located further into the cars, you get to use these special luggage compartments in the deck areas of cars. These areas have an overcomplicated access system and you need an IC card to lock your luggage in. These areas are probably best for suitcases, but maybe not for anything with an unusual shape. Now, although it's called the oversized baggage area, you don't actually need to have an oversized case to use it. In fact, JR recommends this area to people who have, well, just really heavy baggage. Also, if you've got long legs or you just don't want to put your case by your feet, or you maybe don't feel up to lifting it onto the shelf, you should definitely go ahead and use this space. To book the seats that give you access to the oversized baggage areas, just tell the JR staff when you make reservations at the ticket office or select the oversized baggage option when booking online or at ticket machines. Remember, you want seats at the ends of cars for the larger luggage spaces and seats further into the cars for the special luggage compartment. If you find there are no more oversized baggage area seats available on a particular train, then you'll just need to take a different train. Or you could watch this video to see if one luggage rule loophole can help you out. See ya.